Hello, Leo. I am Ulrich. I'm a Lenormand card reader, but today we will do the financial card reading for the sign of Leo for the month of November. As always, we will do four card readings for the sign of Leo for the month of November. And these are based on the natural elements in your astrological chart or for some of you on your time of birth. These basic elements are air, earth, water, and fire. Now, the four objects that you always see on my table are directly connected to those elements. So you choose or you pick one that you think relates most to your personality or you choose one you feel most comfortable with. The subject of your choice, it should or it will relate the best to your current financial situation. However, if the object and the related video does not match your first choice, please check the other videos that are directly connected in the same session. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Anyway, the matches represent the fire element, the stone represents the earth element, the aerosol sprayer represents the air element, and the shell represents the water element. So Leo, here we go for your financial card reading for November 2021. Hello, Leo, and welcome to your uh, philosophical financial card reading for the month of November, and this is for the Water Group. The first card that we see here is uh, well-organized uh, gifts or well-organized spending or about charity. Uh, this card probably means that you uh, are a charitable person, you have your heart on the right place. Uh, you spend probably a lot of on others, on people who are close to you. Uh, probably you take pleasure in uh, spoiling your loved ones. But this card asks you if it was really necessary what you spent, or if it was necessary, if it was necessary to spend so much. The question is, will your children, nephews, wife uh, love you less if you pam pamper them so less, or, or uh, if you pamper them less in general? Um, anyway, if we buy certain things, we need to know the real impact of purchases that we are doing. Uh, and of course, it has an impact on our monthly budget. Um, well or ordered and organized uh, charity, it starts by itself. Um, anyway, when it comes to money, if generosity leads to certain uh, problems in your life, um, maybe we should reduce it. But anyway, this card points also that um, we need to build a safety cushion for ourselves. Before we give to others, we need to secure our own uh, future and make sure that we are uh, ourselves in a better or in a very good uh, safe uh, position. Um, this safe position uh, cannot always come, but if we give always things to other people. Um, anyway, here, uh, this card asks you to make the distinction uh, between essential goods and unnecessary goods. Uh, even in spending gifts, it's the same thing. If you make uh, this distinction, which does not mean you cannot give presents, um, if you make this distinction, you can be able to do charity in your way, but in a with a minimized budget. The second card that we see here is the card of resilience. If you would have spent a little bit too much over the last time uh, on gifts, on, on charity, or about to some things in your life, this card tells us we need to be resilient. Um, we probably need to accept certain situations, certain decisions that we have uh, made in our lives. Um, it's possible that uh, you don't feel so stable for, uh, for now here, um, but this card tells us also we cannot stay passive. If we feel unsecure, insecure, uh, we need to take action here, um, and you need to reflect, this card tells us, over the all over situation. You need to weigh pros and contents, uh, pros and contrasts here about the situation. Um, here with this card, uh, we can have no chance than making the best out of it if we are in a difficult situation. Uh, we need to think that uh, sometimes, even if we give small gifts always to people who are close to us, it could lead to problems. Um, many people learn hard lessons and some of them came in serious problems because they had certain charitable hearts. And this card tells you to 
become aware of weaknesses. Uh, we need now to be resilient because we gave, because our heart is in the right place, but financially it's something else here. And these flaws and advantages, this card tells, if you have them in your personality on the financial side here, that is, you need to turn them into your own advantages. So this is not about uh, bad luck. Uh, you should not focus on that one here. But here you must overcome certain lessons about, about giving gifts to people here. Uh, we need to be resilient here now. And if we are resilient, we will come into the very positive card here, uh, the next card that we are seeing here, because here we are receiving uh, congratulations here. Uh, probably you are evolving now in a very good situation if you control your uh, giving here. But we must be aware that the battle is never over. The financial battle is never over. Every day we must set sail. We have our course. And of course, we need to improve ourselves because this card tells us we need to improve ourselves here. But this card also tells you to smile. Um, it wants to give you a break. Um, it, uh, it's time, this card tells us, that we rest, that we take our breath, and we appreciate the road that we have been traveling. Probably it has been a long road. Uh, maybe you have, uh, earlier in your life, you had uh, difficulties. Um, but remember that with each little problem that you encountered, you came closer to the finish line. So savor today, this card says, and celebrate certain accomplishments in your life, whatever they may be. So give yourself the gift of a well-deserved break, applaud for yourself and see how far you have come. So Leo, for the water group, this is all. It's a philosophical approach from the cards financially. Uh, I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit your all, please check out the other three short card readings that are following here. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time. And I'm sure we see each other in my other card readings. Uh, we have the very extensive Lenormand card readings for your sign that we do each month and also the short Love Lenormand card reading. Anyway, thank you for your time and we see each other soon. Hello, Leo, and welcome to the aerosol or the air group for your philosophical financial card reading for the month of November. The first card that we see here is the card of the holidays or, um, or birthdays. Uh, it's a card about presents, presents that we are giving to other people. As we know, uh, Leo has a big heart. Uh, he's very generous here. Um, anyway, uh, this card points uh, possibly that uh, during the holidays, um, we have been a little bit over generous. Uh, this card tells us that we uh, need to realize that uh, celebrations like Christmas, Valentine uh, have become very commercial. Um, most of us uh, don't even remember the reason anymore for this celebration. They have lost the real essence of these festivals, religious or not. Um, for instance, Christmas, Christmas uh, gradually uh, changed his status from sacred holiday to a celebration of abundance. Uh, we all know this here. This is the time in the year that we forget all our financial goodwill and budgeting here that we do the rest of the year is crossed here. Uh, maybe this is why this card is here. Uh, and then, of course, if we spend a lot during holidays um, or during birthdays for certain people or for cer certain celebrations, because this is a general card, not only about holidays, but it's for uh, that we give gifts during uh, certain celebrations. Um, then, of course, afterwards, the month later, we get uh, the horror of the invoice that arrives. Um, so this card tells us here we need to relativize things a little bit. Um, Maybe it's good that we all go back to the real value and the meaning of these holidays, uh, belief or if it's your belief or it's not, uh, and put the things back in their historical context here that we give them back then their sincere meaning. So don't be fooled, this card says, by uh, advertising. Um, it's not the intention that we express our feelings by overabundance in gifts. It's the intention during that time that we actually express our feelings, that we pay attention to the people, that we uh, hold them close to us, 
because the most precious gift that we find in our current society and the gift that has uh, the highest value is time. Uh, nobody has time anymore. So if you want to get people close to you, the best way to uh, do so is to give them your time, your personal time. And this is mostly very high appreciated. The second card here is the card of the accomplishments. So it's possible that you have done uh, some efforts in your life and you see that your the efforts that you did, the financial efforts, that you get some results of that. Um, and it's by simple daily actions that we see results uh, from our hard work. So um, if you are improving in your life, we need to appreciate uh, these small victories. Um, so uh, here we see that um, we should not compare ourselves to others but rather highlight uh, the positive transformation that uh, you have been undergoing in the last time. Um, this is uh, what we are seeing here. This card tells you also if you can make more changes on the long run, um, if you can make certain changes, what is your plan for the future? What can you improve? So we need to think here on the long run. If certain things in your life are not working anymore, uh, we need to modify, we need to adjust ourselves. So don't be discouraged here in a path that you are taking. If it's difficult, write down your accomplishments. Uh, regardless if it's a small accomplishment or not, we need to be proud of ourselves where we are, uh, we, where we are going and where we come, came from. Uh, there is no small or big success. Rather, it's uh, an accumulation here of all changes that are happening in our life. And um, if we try to persevere, uh, you will see that you have improved in your own eyes. And this is the most important thing. So appreciate the progress that you have made so far and keep persevering and you will get there. The last card is also about gifts. So uh, this is a very generous group that we are seeing here. These people keep on giving here. Um, so the next group as we see here is also about gifts, but it's a different interpretation. Uh, it's possibly connected here to the other card. And instead here of buying gifts, this card wants us to see um, things in a different angle. We already know that during, we said that uh, earlier that we give in excess during holidays, but here this card wants to teach you a trick um, and give, make gifts or give things without actually it costs you a lot. So we can be generous without penalizing our wallets. Um, of course, we need to give it uh, our precious time. This is uh, the other side of it. Um, so rather than buying small uh, baskets of gifts, um, here this card tells you to be creative. You should create, for instance, like you see here in the card, jars with, for instance, with cookies, with uh, homemade jams. And these things uh, cost you very few. Um, also, you can dress them up yourself. You can... Uh, present them with fabrics and ribbons. Also, you can, uh, as a woman, for instance, you can put ointments in there or whatever, or candy that you make for yourself um, or soap even. Uh, anyway, uh, this uh, card tells you it wants you to be more creative uh, for your gifts. If you are not uh, the creative type um, and you really want to buy gifts, this card tells you the other side, how to minimize the budget is that you make a list for each individual and you write a budget down and you don't cross the budget because we saw here before that probably the budget is crossed before. So here, if we make a list and we keep in the list, we keep in the maximized budget from each person. When you come to the cashier, you will not be surprised. So then you will have a fair overview before you pay. What also this card tells us is that we buy in bulk. So if we make something, soap, or, or, or uh, if we want to make a soap, or if you like, want to make an ointment, or if we want to make jams, or if you want to put something in those spots, you can buy in bulk, so it will cost you less. Um, anyway, this system, it will prevent you from getting carried away by compulsive shopping, as we saw on the first card. So boost your own creativity for spending for gifts and you will save money and you will accomplish more because this laying, it wants you not to be uh, selfish, but it wants you to make gifts or give gifts in limited budgets. This is what we learn here with this reading. Anyway, Leo, 
for the air group. This is all for this month. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this philosophical card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading uh, don't fit you at all, please check out the other uh, three card readings that are following here for Leo. Um, you can check also now the short monthly love card readings that we do for your sign. And of course, the extensive Lenormand card readings that you are already familiar with that you can find on my channel. Anyway, I want you to, to thank you for your time. And I'm sure we see each other in my other videos. Thank you and bye bye for now. Hello, Leo, and welcome to the Stone or the Earth Group for your philosophical financial card reading for the month of November. If I take, take a quick overview over this card reading, I'm thinking this is that we need to balance everything, keep everything in balance, and we cannot bend for social pressure because this is the first card here that we are seeing is what does that mean that we cannot bend for uh, social pressure? Well, um, as we know uh, by nature here, uh, humans constantly compare themselves to other. It's part of most uh, people, their personality. We live in communities. We compare ourselves with that community. And mostly uh, that community where you live in determines your place in relation to others. So, but also we need to add there that we operate in a society of overconsumption um, and probably your friends, neighbors, sisters, brothers, they drive around in luxurious cars, wearing designer clothes, have the latest uh, gadgets, the latest lap so laptops and you, for your part, you have difficulties at the end of the month for paying your bills. Then you ask yourself, of course, the normal question, how do these people, your friends, neighbors, relatives manage to get there? Well, this card tells you you need to be smart and not compare yourself to others. Don't let uh, appearances fool you because we all have our own responsibilities. So this card tells you what you should do as you do now is use your money wisely instead, instead for uh, spending money that you don't need to spend uh, and that you actually need for the people around you, for your monthly payments, and for keeping yourself in balance. This is what we see here. Anyway, this card tells us also, <clears throat> excuse me, if we buy certain things, uh, we are obligated to buy microwaves. Uh, sometimes for the children, we need laptops. Um, if we need to buy anything or, a, or even a big thing like a car, we should consider like buying used things. For instance, there are a lot of internet sites. The goods they are presented sometimes are news. Sometimes they are still in the package, including the warranty. It's still under warranty. So this card tells you not to bend for social pressure, but look out for things like that. Things with an extended warranty. For instance, if you buy a car, instead of buying a brand new car, you can buy a used car uh, with an extended warranty. Some uh, new cars come with three years warranty, unlimited mileage. There's a lot on the market. And if you look around you, I'm sure you can find something that fits you. You can find a car with an extensive warranty and not necessarily a new one. This, is, this card wants you to use your money in a very proportionate, smart way. Anyway, here it wants to also make you aware that the outside of other people, how they show themselves is not always what it is. So this card tells you, live according to your own needs, your own abilities, define yourself, your personality, and your accomplishment. And this is important, more important than, than uh, eventually the clothes, the shoes that you are buying. So don't bend for social pressure. Uh, live your own life in your own uh, unique way. The second card is the card of proportions, or we need to keep everything balanced. As we know, everything in life is relative and it's about the way we see things. And we need to put everything in context with what, we're, what we are earning. Um, for giving an example here, a monthly payment for the loan of, our, of a house is not the same for uh, if this family has one earner and they have four children. If you are two earners and you have one child and your house is paid, paid already, you come in a very different situation. So $2 or two euro for a family with one earner can sometimes mean the difference between eating and not even eating in the evening. As we know now in a lot of countries, there are serious problems uh, caused by the viruses around us. 
um, this is what we are seeing. And these people also need to budget. So this wants us to make aware that we are not the only one that need to budget here. Here, this card hopes you to find a balanced budget. You need to establish or try to establish a relationship uh, between the outflow of your money and your salary. This is what we are seeing here. And at the same time, also not bent for the social pressure. This card uh, tells you it's you who are in charge of the balances. So you need to ask yourself here and relativize your current expenses and educate yourself more uh, about these things. So take a piece of paper, make categories of importance, see which categories that are over the top and then you know where your problem is. So if certain categories in your, in your list are over the top, then you know what the problem is. And we know we need to keep that balance and we need to cut back there. So if you put everything in context in relation to your salary, you will come out in a balanced situation. So this card asks you to make the big picture. For some people, it will mean probably that they are on the limit or for some it can mean that they are uh, living beyond their means. The last card is that we all are aware that um, we have monthly payments. Um, each household has them. We have our telephone, we have our internet, we have our insurances. We have certain magazines that we are subscribed uh, on and these are uh, recurrent and systematic uh, payments that we are doing. And probably you don't pay attention to them, to them anymore at all because you are used, they are, they are part of the budget here. Um, but sometimes firms uh, where you have subscriptions on, they are smart. And they know people don't, uh, that they don't control this anymore. And once you're out of the promo, these firms tend to adjust the prices. So this card tells you to pay attention to that. Maybe there are a few of the payments, the monthly payments that are no longer like the way they were when you uh, signed in on the promo. So check this out. And if your con uh, internet company, for, ex uh, for example, charges you a uh, a different rate, try to negotiate about this, for instance, um, for getting the old rates back. Also, this refers to uh, our insurances. Um, maybe it's time, uh, it's been a long time since you reviewed your uh, insurance portfolio. So check uh, your broker and see if there's not some adjustments that you can make on your insurances. Also, the banks are included here. Um, sometimes it points that our bank would be overcharging us, for instance, if we draw money or they overcharge us uh, on our monthly expenses, they, uh, they charge us big interest. So compare your bank to other banks if you have uh, the time for this. So if you notice that your bank is overcharging, what you can do also, and if you think, no, oh, they're all so close, an alternative sometimes for this is internet banking. Internet banks are very cheap and in general they are solid. Why? Because they are mostly connected to those big banks. The difference is they have no branches. No branches means no staff. No staff means no expenses. So here it means that you can go in that uh, if that interests you as an alternative. Sometimes they are very cheap. The only thing you, you pay is your credit card and a small amount as you withdraw money. You need to check it out because there are also several uh, internet banks here and the rates are also different. But anyway, it will save you on month or uh, on yearly basis. Don't be surprised if this saves you about uh, between thousand and two thousand dollar or euro uh, per year. It's very common that we pay that per year for our banking. Anyway, um, this card tells us that each small amount uh, count, uh, count for us. Um, it will make a difference in your saving. So you will see if you apply these things, you will save a lot of money and maybe you need these things for something else. Maybe you want to upgrade your house. Uh, maybe you need something in your life that is important. Maybe you need a new car on the, uh, in, 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 in the time to come. So you can make savings like that. Anyway, uh, inform yourself here um, and see that you come in a better negotiable position and financial position. So uh, the O4, the Stone Group, this is all for now. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, please 
please check out the other three card readings that are connected here also. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time and please check out also the short love readings that we do now for the with Lenormand and also, of course, the extensive card readings that we do each month for the sign of Leo. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time and I'm sure we see each other in my other readings. Thank you for your time and bye-bye. Hello Leo and welcome to the matches or the fire group for your philosophical financial card reading for November uh, 2021. Um, this is a card reading about probably that we always go in circles and maybe it's time we get out of these circles. The first card here that we are seeing here, it's about a cycle. It means everything in life comes back. And maybe this coming back is always uh, that uh, maybe we need to change our financial habits. The first card here, it tells us that every circle in life has challenges, no matter uh, in what stage of life that we are. Uh, we have expenses that we didn't anticipate. Uh, for instance, remember as you were a young parent, uh, or if you are, uh, maybe you think that uh, the expenses will go away when your child goes into puberty, or if the child goes from puberty into adulthood. Uh, but don't be fooled because, the, of course, we all know that mm, the older a child gets, uh, the more, the higher the expenses become. Uh, when, for instance, when they go to adulthood, they go to university. And of course, we are faced with the expenses of university. Anyway, um, here we see that um, we need to think about um, the phases that we have in our life. Um, and if we have certain expenses, um, we should not postpone these things. We should try to have savings and we should not wait to repay certain debts because the second card we have here is the card about debts. And we should not wait to repay certain debts, but, but we should this, uh, take immediate action and complete this now. So if we have certain cycled expenses as our children grow or as we are ourselves, here this card tells us uh, we need to realize that every stage in our life has a certain cycle as we grow older. So if you have certain debts, don't delay your debts, clear up your unfinancial clarity. If for instance, you catch yourself every year you buy here because we have the gift card here, um, that you catch yourself buying too much gifts for people and this leads you to a difficult situation break the circle here, this is what this card is about. We need to break circles and we need to take care of ourselves. The second card is uh, probably that we made certain expenses in our life, and this is about a repayment of debts. Um, so probably if you look at your uh, balance sheet, maybe the situation is not uh, really sunshine there. Um, anyway, this card tells you if it's not so, don't be discouraged. It's by small amounts, by small steps, steps that we are taking, we get back on our feet. So don't be discouraged. Uh, secondly, uh, if your uh, uh, debts would be severe, uh, this card tells you to make a list of your debts uh, and establish priorities. What you first need to do, if you have several credit cards, you need to find out which credit card is the most expensive. The easy way to find the most expensive credit card is in general, the one who always gives you money, even though it's very low. It means that this uh, company, it charges you probably enormous interests, but you can check them in your bills. And if you buy an article, don't be surprised uh, that they uh, check you additionally. For instance, we buy an article for a, for a certain price, but if we don't pay our balance by the end of the month, well, this article will cost us more. Why? Because we pay interest. So this is what this card is about. We need to get rid of expensive credit cards. So if you have very expensive credit cards, try to fill them up with small amounts of money. And if you can, try to get rid of these expensive cards because these companies are really sharks. Every time you make more debts, this company smiles, but you are not. You, you suffer from this payment that you need to make uh, every month for getting the things done. 
So try to get rid of these cartels for very expensive uh, credit cards. Uh, if you have certain arrears, try to balance them out. But first, we need to get rid of these cards here. So pull yourself together, these card, uh, this card tells us, um, and try to reduce your debts. Once you have done that, you will need to apply a restrictive lifestyle on yourself. And we come in the next card already. Maybe uh, this is related to the future. Uh, we are uh, coming closely now to the holidays. So probably if you have certain debts and these debts come back in cycles always, it always comes back the same year. Maybe this year for a change, you can reduce your expenses during the holidays. Because we know um, mostly during the year, we are very constructive and we limit ourselves for our budget, but sometimes with the holidays or with birthdays, we give an excess. And of course, the month later, uh, we get the hangover uh, or we get the invoice and we are not very happy because that is the horror of January, for instance, that is coming then after New Year's when the invoices arrive. So remember that these holidays exist for being nice to other people, but not to give in, in, ex, in, ex, in, ex, in, ex, in very, very large amounts. It's not, it's, this is not the intention of these holidays. The, the intention of these holidays is that we are kind hearted towards each other. This is, the, this is the sincere meaning of it, that we are close to each other, but it's not about giving in excess. This is not what it's about. So try to get distance here from these holidays. Um, it's meant as an expression of your feelings and it's not about giving in, in big amounts of money or big presents here. So pay attention so you can balance yourself out here with this reading, because I'm thinking here, uh, maybe your uh, the issue here with this reading is that you have this group is always that the expenses come back every year. So you should get out of this circle. So Leo, uh, this is all for this philosophical card reading. I am only the card reader. I am uh, making the interpretation here. Um, if this card reading don't fit your role, please check out the other card readings for the sign of Leo. Uh, maybe one of those three fit you more. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time. And please check out also the short Le Normand love card readings that we do now each month for your sign. And of course, the extensive card readings with Le Normand that we do every month for your sign, whose are very detailed. Anyway, I want to thank you for your time that you spend on my channel. And um, I hope we see each other in my other videos. Thank you and bye bye for now.